All I ever do is explain. But there's apparently no time for that. Okay. My lawyer's gonna hear about this! Just kidding. I am, after all, contractually obligated to ramble on about pointless crap that never really makes any sense at first. I'd like to think I'm rather good at it. In that respect, no time to explain should be right up my alley. You bust into your own house, through the wall in dramatic fashion, of course, inform you that you're you from your future, where an oh Christ giant enemy crab! And then you're left to pick up the huge ray gun from the future and attempt to save you from giant enemy crab by traveling through a series of space-time warps and eventually having to fight off a huge spaceship firing energy beams and missiles and whatnot. Fortunately, that huge-ass ray gun helps even the score of it. No Time to Explain is, at its core, all about playing with physics. Your huge-ass ray gun serves two purposes, to destroy obstacles and, more importantly, to provide thrust for New Age rocket-jumping shenanigans. Having nailed down the physics, the rest of the game is about platforming, getting from point A to point B in one piece, and maybe collecting some hats along the way because it's steam, so obviously hats. This will require combinations of running, jumping, and thrusting, and potentially blowing up obstacles or boring out a path, all while you, not you you, other you you, screams out mildly entertaining interjections, much like, well, like a dude being gnawed on by a shark or absconded with by a giant enemy crab. It's mildly entertaining and often veers into the absurd, but can quickly get to repeating if you're having trouble with a certain chunk of terrain. Well, let's just say I had trouble with a certain chunk of terrain. <laughs> no Time to Explain started out as a flash game, and besides the kind of minimalist graphical style, it certainly shows in the controls. You move with the directional buttons while aiming and firing your laser is on the mouse. Which is fine for the majority of gamers, but I'm on a laptop. Don't get me wrong, this laptop's pretty boss for pumping out games, but No Time to Explain's controls kind of fall on their face when you're using a cramped combination of tiny D keys and a touchpad. And unfortunately, there's no way to use an actual joystick or repurposed control. Presumably, this very issue will be taken care of when the game makes its Xbox debut in the future, but for now feels like delicious fruit just out of reach through no fault of my own. Still, for the frustration, it was a refreshing romp through ADD-riddled stages, occasionally switching up the mechanics like using explosions instead of a continuous beam or adding underwater segments. Guess I'm just gonna have to use a... Uh, a mouse to get the most out of this one. Man, I thought I was done with those. 